You know, five years ago, we launched our church. And I can remember in those early years, we used to look at each other on a random Monday or a random Tuesday, and we had this little phrase. We'd say, this is the best day ever. This is the best day ever. We would say that as a confession, not because it felt like the best day ever. In fact, we found ourselves saying that even on days that it felt bad or when we got terrible news or awful news, we would just confess, this is the best day ever. Why? Because the moment that Jesus got up out of that grave and resurrected, what it did was, is it changed all of our stories and all of our narratives. It doesn't mean that we're not gonna face bad days and tough times and difficult moments. All it means is that now we can put all of those bad days and all of those horrible moments and all of those difficult times and we can put them in light of the best day ever. And we can be reminded that no matter what we face here on earth, even if we face death, the good news that the best day ever reminds us is that we will spend eternity in heaven with Jesus for he is seated at the right hand of God. And so no matter what you're going through today, no matter how how big the hardship is, if your faith is in Jesus Christ, if your trust is in Jesus Christ, you can walk around saying, this is the best day ever. And when someone says why, you can say, because Jesus is alive. He's not there. He's risen. He's resurrected. Now, no matter what I'm facing, I can boldly confess. I can make a faith proclamation. This is the best day ever.